Hello, Cycliners. So here I am in Sardinia and I just met a team of a German guy. Really cool guys, they invited me on the high line close to the beach. So look on it. It's a really nice line and I'm happy to see the some few slacking of gear. But you know what I'm most happy to see is to see that here the backup line they just didn't use any knotted backup i don't like at all the idea of having some knotted backup and here they do use some um, mighty lock uh, they use a, a line lock a classic line lock and you see it's not difficult at all to to connect your backup with a line lock and this is in my opinion where way more stronger, way more reliable than a classic knotted backup. And you will see on um, another video I made uh, from a tree in my garden uh, that um, knot on the weddings are really weak compared to line lock. So for this test, I'm using a mass made from wood and let's see it's almost 84 kilograms. So you can see this pen set is the main intro. So let's cut it. It's a bit more than uh, factor one falling. Uh, fall. Hop. Okay, so something broke. And now the aim is to see where did it broke. So if you look, the line lock is still good, and it's it's perfectly good. So the line lock didn't damage at all the webbing. And if we look at the other extremity, it broke really easily in the knot in the unfinished line knot. So here is why we recommend uh, in case of dynamic risk of loading, always use a line lock instead of a knotted backup. Sorry, the webbing isn't damaged at all on this line lock. And if you go and see what happened in the knot, you see that the webbing broke there instead of the knot. So the broken strand is here inside. It broke inside the knot because the knot, when it's getting tight, it's uh, getting hot and the webbing is uh, becoming weak, weak because of that. It's not a good idea to use knotted backup for your eyelines. It's way better to use some thin loop connections and some line, some line locks. Here we can see that the webbing is burnt and it's almost glued on itself due to the temperature inside the knot. When undoing the knot, we can clearly see that the webbing has burned inside due to the friction inside the knot. So you can see it's like glued lap over lap so you see it has burnt inside the knot and this is due to the velocity the speed uh, of the loading because if you uh, look at the the result that we can measure on a, on a knot so the strength of the webbing inside the knot most of the results are the result that we measure in static load. But in dynamic, like the test I just did now, uh, the webbing is slipping, uh, the knot is uh, slipping inside itself. It's getting hot due to friction and the webbing um, behavior, uh, MBS, is decreasing a lot, a lot more than when you pull slowly and smoothly. 